so we went about looking for a drummer. There was a huge amount of pressure on the band. KISS fans were militant and they loved their boys. So a uh, newcomer was not necessarily going to be popular right off the bat. And we found ourselves Eric Carr, who was a stove repair man. When I went into audition, you know, I just said to myself, look, Eric, you're going to do the best you can. You know, you're going to play. You know you're good. You know the songs. <laughs> the worst that could happen is that, you know, you don't make the band, but you can fix the stoves. <laughs> He literally went from ovens and stoves with cockroaches running out to being the new drummer in KISS. And we were very cognizant of the fact that the world is watching, and if this doesn't work, we're in deep trouble. Eric, it suggested that you were a more powerful drummer than Peter, and you blended into the band better. Ben's never sounded tighter. Uh, I think I fit in really well with the guys. And you know, if you come to the show, you'll hear it. He played like thunder. And he sang great. We were just awed by him. 